perhaps than the debate. So we're having a great dialogue. Uh, I, ladies and gentlemen, I speak against the motion. And honestly, my sympathies with my opponents because I think they have only two options, either to lose or to lose. So let's, let's put the, as they say, the cat among the pigeons. India is not a bipolar country. This is not between the BJP and the Congress. And let's go by hard data as Kiran Kardik rightly said. Look at your 2014 election results. The BJP gets 31% of the votes, the Congress party gets around 20. Together we get 50% of the people voting for the two biggest national parties. Together we win 282 for BJP, 44 for the Congress. The two biggest parties that you assume are going to be the majority governments that will provide you with stability and growth on their own, when they aggregate together, they are only 50% of India's popular vote and they give you only 320 seats. Now you will say, Sanjay Jha, you are giving me one example, give me more. After all, one swallow does not the summer make. Well, let's look at the 2009 results. The Congress party gets 206, the BJP gets 116, together 322. Rewind, let's go down to 2004. The Congress party gets 145, the BJP gets 138. Together, the two big national parties are still at 283 seats. Now let's go back to the most black swan extraordinary election, 1984. I'm doing a major rewind, ladies and gentlemen. 1984, the Congress party that I represent very proudly, wins 404 Lok Sabha seats. But guess what percentage of people voted for the Congress party? 49.2%, not 80%, 49.2%. So the first thing that we need to understand, because I think we disrespect, we disrespect our diversity, we actually expose our ignorance of the very country we live in, when we say that majority rules. Well, that, let me tell you, 51% of the people, even in 1984, when the Congress party got 404 seats, did not vote for the Congress party. Between 1984 till now, and I can go even backwards, 50% of India has voted for somebody else. I think it's about time we began to respect that. This room, ladies and gentlemen, is diverse. This panel is diverse. My jacket is not as flamboyant as Sunil Alam's. And the saris the two women wear is extraordinarily different. But that is the beauty of this country. Sunil mentioned khichdi. And I can tell you, if you have a choice between having bhat and between having khichdi, you make your choice. I remember when I was growing up, my mother used to give me khichdi with a little bit of dal, little bit of a flavor of ghee, some papad and pickles, and believe me you, khichdi becomes the most delicious, delectable item you can consume. It's good for health as well. So let me tell you, let's not deride this concept of coalitions. Fortunately, we have some people on the panel who have taken an extremely mature view of it. But let's ask this question of each one of us. Growth. And I think it's correct, Sunil is right, we need to bite the bullet. Let's look at the five years of Mr. Modi's government and ten years of the UPA. Ten years of UPA gave you a growth rate of 8.35% over the entire period. And that period, ladies and gentlemen, don't ignore, included the world's worst recession after 1931. Oil prices touching $140 a barrel and the coalition gave it to you. Look at the growth during Mr. Modi's government. 7.3%. Oil prices touching $29 a barrel. And yet it did not happen. What did they give you? Demonetization, anger, a flawed GST, inequality. 1% of India owns 60% of its wealth. And above all, they give you hate and violence. We don't live in an economy, ladies and gentlemen, not alone. Before we live in an economy, we live in a society. And I think the point we need to embrace here is this. And I'll give you the one example that will probably defeat that other side. The Lokpal bill. Our government had strong...
street protests, Raghav Chadha was out there. We battled it out. Ultimately, the bill was passed in parliament. And after a struggle, a Lokpal bill was passed in 2013. Five years and Mr. Narendra Modi could not do the easy job of appointing a Lokpal. Can you see the difference between a coalition and a majority? The big difference between the two, they're both the formations can work. But the critical thing is your intent. And therefore my last line, I was with a friend of mine who was a stockbroker in Mumbai. And he told me, you know what, in the markets we say, the BJP is good for the markets, the Congress is good for the country. So I asked him, do you vote for the country or do you vote for the markets? And he said, well, you know, so I told him, hang on, let me give you a fact. During the time of the UPA, UPA 1 gave you a stock market growth of 74%. I'm talking about the Sensex. UPA 2 gave you a stock market growth of 131%. The NDA has given you 63%. Therefore, I want to end by telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it's not about the formations, it's the intent. My last line, if Sonia can give me 15 seconds. They blame coalitions, saying that everybody jockeys for power. But I can tell you it's much better than 100 people talking in 300 voices, which, which makes me actually end this with a share like Sunil did. Ki barbad gulista karne ko bas ek hi ullu kafi hai. Har shak pe ullu beta hai and jame gulista kya ho gaya. Thank you. I have a question. Shaz Shazia has a question. Go ahead, Shazia. So, um, as um, Sanjay ji, I was a dear friend and we've always on the other sides, but uh, we've had a very pleasant equation. Um, Sanjay ji, I would like to ask you this question. Since you're a great advocate for coalitions, and as we all pointed out and know that NDA and UPA both are coalitions, uh, and, a, and a huge coalition at that of 30, 40 parties in both of them, um, what happened, because Rahul Gandhi was this great uh, architect of alliance, what happened in UP? Why did Congress party get this royal snub from Samajwadi party and BSP? And when you go out uh, advocating uh, one coalition against a single party majority, as seems to be the case, will you be campaigning in, in UP, UP, uh, UP against um, SP and BSP, who are uh, larger allies in your fight against uh, Modi? Oh, or will you be taking on BJP alone? <laughs> Shazia, you're sounding like Arnav Goswami on Valium. No, but you know, my, my simple point is, you know, you, you know, let me tell you this. I don't, that's a political question. But I want to make this point to you very truly, that I believe the risk with the majority government, and I'll be very honest, I'm part of the Congress party. I believe the emergency of 1975, and what I believe is the unofficial emergency that we have had for the last five years are matters of concern. I'm batting for the coalition only from one point. I don't think coalitions can be necessarily trashed. Coalitions, as I think uh, Khan Saab mentioned, uh, they, they have a virtue. I mean, neither is a guaranteed workable proposition. It's your political motivations that determine it, in my opinion. And I, I believe, for example, under the current BJP regime, the tragedy has been, I believe it's a wasted five years because you pushed your Hindutva agenda you and not grow. You have an answer to the UP question. question. No, the UP question is a political question. Specific, my answer to UP that, question. No, my answer to that is very straightforward. So in Delhi, so while... while uh, Each party has no, a compulsion. I can't follow comment up, on it. It's a supplementary question because the first question was not answered. So while you advocate all against Modi or Modi, Modi versus chaos as I call it, so you want to say, you want to say that in Delhi you will be fighting Aam Admi Party separately and BJP separately and in UP you will be fighting the larger allies against Modi and also against BSP and SP. Well, that is my well, well, you know, this is and in West Bengal you are going to fight BJP separately and TMC. Yeah, this well, is my can, question. Can I answer that? Uh, uh, Shazia, let me tell you, first stop spreading the canard. This audience I'm sure is very enlightened. It is not Modi versus the rest. Why don't you tell them that you had 40 alliance partners here in NDA? 18 have left you as I talk. By the time I finish, maybe 19 have left you. But that's another story. So it is not Modi versus the rest. It's Modi versus the people of India. Because you have actually disenchanted the, the people please. of India. Thank no, your Uttar Pradesh question, every Uttar political Pradesh, group Pashim has Pashim got Pashim. its own compulsions. I can't answer that. If Samajwadi Party and BSP go together, good luck for them and we respect it. Right.